welcome to my channel. I'm Tiffany, a retired librarian turned homeschool mom. And in this video, we're going to look at a cute little book um, on cats. So, so this is a book called So What's It Like to Be a Cat by Carla Kustin. Probably mispronouncing these names. And illustrated by Betsy Lewin. Or Lewin. Um, I'm probably mispronouncing these names. This is a cute little book. I do have a few issues with it. Now, it's framed in a little boy who's interviewing his cat. So, it, the illustrations are absolutely wonderful. They're very, very cute. Um, looks like a, looks definitely looks like watercolor here. Could be wrong. I love the illustrations. The little boy is talking to a cat about them getting up in the middle of the night, going to eat their food, then going back to bed. Who will sleep not in a kitty bed, but pretty much anywhere that is soft. It looks like the cat's a tad bit ang angry there. It's like, I don't sleep in a cat bed. We have cats who will sleep in cat beds. Some of them. But, basically, they curl up and they sleep. But then the kid boy asks, like, do you get up in the morning? He's like, I don't know what breakfast is. So, which is, in case of our cat's incorrect. They do in fact know what time breakfast is because we humans get up and we feed them. And this one kind of talks that so this is one part of the books that kind of bugs me just because we have four cats and I cats behave differently. So it talks about a dog happy to greet them and then the cats are happier left alone. Um, my calico particularly who is 12 now will greet me at the door most of the time. So she is definitely it's like, my human is home, I must acknowledge human, hold me, very much a pick-me-up cat uh, to this day, to hold me cat, and she wants to see her humans, and our other, we have three kittens in the house as of this video, by the time this shows, they'll be a little over a year. So, and our two black ones also greet us at the door, our youngest, Jasper, who's a Balinese mix, a little white fluff ball. Not so much. But the black ones, as my calico obby, very much do. And then talking about cats leaping around, jumping around. Yes, when they, what my husband calls the kitty crazies. Yes, kitty crazies. For cat owners, you know what this is. For non cat owners, it, it's when your cat suddenly decides to run around the room and ran up the stairs for no particular reason. And talking about dancing around, because that's something that cats do. And no, they don't roar. They move quietly. No, our cats don't roar, but they're apparently very, very vocal. All of them. We have four cats. All of them like to talk, particularly our panthers, our two black cats. My calico will get cranky and meow as well. And Jasper, our kitten, meows. The little white one. All of them meow quite frequently. The panthers are really loud. So let's see. Run around and twirling. And they do things because, you know, cats. Yeah, that's that's a pretty accurate answer. And they talk about, and this is the other one that I kind of take um, slightly offense to. Our cats like us. As far as I can tell, they like to sleep with us. They demand attention from us. They miss us when we're gone. Um, so I don't think our cats always sleep. I think we're dumb because our cats are definitely wanting attention. They think my toddler is dumb, but that's because she harasses me, because she's a toddler. So, but again, talking about thinking they're weird, humans are weird because they don't have any fur, and they wish them well. Like, it's like they're weird, we wish them well. And I'd rather be a cat than a human. It's a very cute little book, uh, very, very short, uh, definitely in the interview format of What's it like to be a cat? Again, I have a few issues with it just as a cat person in the personalities of my own. And the fact that it portrays cats as a little bit of a loof, which I guess definitely is not all cats. Certain breeds are far more friendly. Our cats, obviously my calico is very people friendly. Our cats like to be around their humans and they show affection. Our youngest cat, Jasper, seems to like our toddler quite a bit. Uh, he tolerates her like crazy. She, <laughs> he likes her drag her around, him around without actually attacking her, though it's getting less often now that he's getting a tad bit bigger. 
and she's not growing quite as fast as he is. So that's it for this review. Again, really short just because it's very, very, it's a short little kid's book. Good to read at bedtime. Not a lot of words. Very fun. Very simple. Um, cat owners will understand this. Non-cat owners will still find it kind of funny. So that's it for this book review. If you like what you see, like and subscribe. I do a lot of children's books. I do a variety of other uh, children's teen books, a lot of book reviews and various family focused film reviews mostly. Um, and I do some education stuff. We are a secular, non-religious homeschooling family. So I do some videos on that. We also like to travel. So I do some videos on that as well. So be sure to like and subscribe and check out the rest of my channel. Thank you.